Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Brother Paxton, and Angie and I are out here on the Old State Hospital grounds. This is our first fall hike, and uh, it's been a blessed night. We've met with a brother named Ron. He's, he's a musician. He's a rocker, local here in Traverse City, and I got the chance to witness the gospel to him and give him three Newsboys CDs, and we had a very nice talk, and... Uh, that's what we do. We come out and we just reach out to people heart to heart, one on one, sometimes one on 15, you know, and we just try to minister the love of Jesus Christ. And I wanted to read this scripture tonight from the book of Mark, the 16th chapter and the 15th verse. The Bible says this, and he said unto them, go ye into all the world. Now, that means that the gospel of Jesus Christ is not a Western gospel. This gospel is for the entirety of the world, and, and this gospel is for every person. It's for every situation. It's for every heart. Uh, the rich person, the poor person, the black person, the white person, the red person, the yellow person. It's for those who have seemingly have it all together, and for those who seemingly don't. It's for the up and outer and the down and outer. The gospel of Jesus Christ is for all the world. And that's what God speaks to me about so much these days, is for me to go into my world, wherever my world is at the time, for me to go there with a message that is adaptable to every person in every situation. I don't need to try to be something I'm not. I don't, not, I don't need to try to become what you are. But this message of Christ and Him crucified fits it all. And it breaks through every barrier and it goes right to the heart of you and of me. And I thank God for that tonight. It says, and preach the gospel to every creature. Preaching is God's method. Preaching and teaching is God's method for building the kingdom, amen? And we add to that, as the Spirit leads, practical acts of kindness and everyday compassion that will reach into a person's world and present this message to them. The scripture says, he who believes and we're talking about believing in Christ and what he did for us at the cross and is baptized. Now this means baptized into Christ. This isn't water baptism. This is baptized into Christ. You can read Romans 6 verses 3 through 5. Um, that person shall be saved. You see, when we, when we believe what Jesus did for us at the cross, the Spirit of God places us in Christ. That is baptized into Christ. We are in him, literally. In the spiritual sense, we are in Christ. We are part of Him. Hallelujah. When you were born, and when I was born into the Paxton family, I didn't have to try to be a Paxton. I was born a Paxton. Same for whatever family you were born into. So when we are born again and placed in Christ by the Holy Spirit, we didn't do anything to merit that position except for believe. And hallelujah, upon that belief, upon that faith in the proper object, the cross of Christ, we became members of the family of God and literally we are baptized into Christ and we shall be saved, the scripture says. But he who believes not shall be damned. And that's what promotes what we do here in Traverse City and around the country. When Angie and I go out, that's why we do what we do. That's the reason we rock and roll. That's the reason that we meet people in parks. That's the reason that we preach the gospel to them. Is because if they do not hear, if they do not receive, they will be damned. Do you understand that, Christian friend of mine today? It's not a matter of, am I a good enough person and if I am, God will just accept me into his heaven because he accepts good people. No, if they don't hear and receive Christ and him crucified, they will be damned. That should send you, beloved, on a mission in your community, in all of your world, on the job, at school, in the home, to reach those people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then the Bible says, these signs shall follow them who believe. Now I want you to notice, it doesn't say these sins shall follow them who believe. It says these signs shall follow them who believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. 
Jesus defeated every demon spirit, every fallen angel, the devil himself at the cross of Calvary. They are totally defeated. You and I go out to enforce that defeat in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of his blood. That opens up a lot of these people's hearts that you're gonna meet at a place like this or, or wherever, at the mall, wherever. It opens up their heart when you first bind the spirits, when you first enforce the defeat that Jesus won at Calvary. And we do that by binding those spirits in his powerful name, hallelujah. And it says also, they shall speak with new tongues. And this is the evidence of the baptism with the Holy Spirit. It says they shall take up serpents. And that really should read this way. They shall put away demon spirits. You see, it has nothing to do with snake handling. I've been in some of those churches and it's spooky. You know, they're up there playing with snakes. I turned right around and walked out. I wouldn't even preach there. I was supposed to preach at one. And I got in there, and they had this little box on the pulpit. And I asked the guy, I said, hey, man, what's in the box? He said, that's where we keep the snakes. And he was using this scripture right here. But this really, what it refers to is that we shall put away demon, demon spirits. It has nothing to do there with reptiles. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And this speaks to us of protection. This doesn't mean that we can go purposely drink poison and if we really have the Holy Spirit, we won't die. Listen, we're going to be having your funeral. This talks about protection. If in order to, you know, if we accidentally get ourselves into a situation, the Holy Spirit can be depended upon to protect us. Hallelujah. And then it says they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And this means we are to do so in the name of Jesus. And uh, after this, the Lord had spoken unto them. He was received up into heaven. That was the ascension. And he sat down at the right hand of God. And that signified that his work of redemption was total and complete. There's nothing that needs to be added to what Jesus done. And here's the job that remains. Okay, we have a perfect message. We have a perfect savior. The job that remains is for you and I to be heralders of the good news and to go tell everyone we possibly can. And to lay our hands on them and pray the prayer of faith and to believe God and to bring them into the kingdom and to introduce them to this mighty Christ. Are you gonna to respond to that call tonight? I thank God for my friend that I met tonight. Let me see here, I can't remember. His name was Ron. And we met Brother Ron and uh, we'll have some pictures that we'll put up for you. And there's so many people like this. Will you go? I pray that you will. And God will anoint you and he'll help you to do so in his mighty name. So for our first hike in the fall of 2012 on the grounds of the state hospital, this is Brother Paxton saying, go with God and he will, he will go with you. Bless you.